So now that you've prepped your scanner, you can actually start scanning now. After a lot of testing, I found that the Brother Control Center is actually the best method in order to get files into your machine. I tried Image Capture, the uh, application that comes with uh, Mac OS 10, but the problem is you can't have custom scans. And when you try to scan in something is just A3, which is the largest size, actually the smallest size that you could scan in 12 field animation paper, it actually is just too long and optical registration fails. Now you can't just scan in that way and then edit them all in Photoshop, but uh, I try not to try to use Photoshop in this workflow because I want something that is uh, a lot more open to a lot more people. So now we have uh, Control Center is open, and you'll see uh, here's a printer that it's uh, the scanner that's connected, and it defaults to just these four buttons. What you do have is some custom scans. Now I've actually created uh, one called Animation Scan. And here I'll show you how to configure it. I uh, just go to configuration, custom scan, animation scan. And I just name it animation scan and I make sure that it's checked scan to file. That is very important. So you'll just go to settings. So here's one of the problems with the brother twain driver. Uh, it automatically names everything to this date, like a full date, and then followed by a five-digit number. You can't change anything after the underscore. It always puts in a five-digit number. Um, now that I set this as default, just SC for scene. But you can change the entire name when you have the show folder option checked. This opens a window in the finder that allows you to rename the, the file each time. So you can name your scene as you're bringing it in. I actually scanned a JPEG. Uh, these are, you know, these are inks, they're black and white, and they're being scanned in at 300 DPI. So it's not really important to have anything that's higher. I mean, you can't scan directly to PSD or anything. And for some reason, Animate Pro does not support TIFF. Normally I would say TIFF, but since you have to change it to a different format anyway, just go ahead and just scan it to JPEG. You're not really going to lose anything. Uh, make sure your file size is set to large. It's usually like medium or something. Uh, here's your destination folder. Uh, I have mine set to scans. This is just a file uh, folder that I have where all of my scans go to. Usually it goes to your pictures folder or something like that. Um, just have it in your own individual thing so each one of your scenes will come into a new folder um, and this will be set you'll create that folder your, your uh, scene folder when the show save as window make sure that is checked as well now this one right here the show scanner interface this is very important you have to check this in order to get custom sizes if you don't you'll end up with one of these and custom is not in here so make sure you have that um, just click OK. And you can just click that. OK. So here is the Save As uh, window where you create your new scene. I'm going to, you can just create a folder. I'm just going to scene 5 Mitzi. All right. And you'll see here's the huge name that it always names it. So I'm going to name this scene, scene five, Mitzi. And what I'm also going to do is put a one after this. Now I do this because this is a pretty large scene and it will need to be broken up into different batches. Uh, it'll probably be like four or five different batches in order to get this, just this one scene fully scanned in. And I, I put a one at the end so I know for a fact that this was the first batch that I scanned in. When I scan in the second batch, I'll put a two after it. If I have a third batch, I'll put a three after it. And so on and so forth. But that's just why I put that one there. The other thing that I'll end up doing is actually create a new folder called 001. 
This will separate the batches into their own folders. I'll do a 002 for batch two. And I can actually start renaming everything in 001 while the second batch is scanning. Something else you wanna make sure not to do is put any underscore or hyphen or anything like that after the name you type in. Uh, it's already gonna put an underscore plus the, all the five digit numbers afterwards. Just don't worry about putting anything after that. It'll get much more confusing and you really don't need it. It's gonna throw them in there anyway. So just press save and it'll pop up the Twain driver. So here's the Twain driver window. And after a lot of experimentation, I just found this is the best way to go. Uh, I always set mine to 300 DPI. That's necessary for HD work. Uh, I use true gray. Since this is black and white, I'm not doing color. There's a lot of information that's scanned that's just immediately thrown away. So I just stick to gray. And usually this will come in, uh, the custom size won't actually be there by default. It'll usually be like eight and a half by 11. Um, now I ran into some problems with this before where you can't change the decimal point, any number after the decimal point. Uh, apparently in new versions you can, and this has been fixed, but um, you know, I'll just show you, you go to A3 and this, and then go to custom. Then I would set this to 10.5. Hey, it has been fixed, awesome. Um, and 12.5. I have been scanning all these at 10.7 already, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change it. But your um, if you run into that issue, just don't change anything after the decimal point. Hopefully, um, this thing has been completely fixed now. So um, as I showed you in my version, it has. Uh, maybe if you're running uh, an older version, you just don't want to upgrade right now. That's just a fix. Just set it set it to A3 and then just change the numbers in front of the decimal point. Um, regular 12 field animation paper is actually 10.5 by 12.5, uh, but it really won't matter if you have two tenths of an inch, it's fine. Then just click start and it will start scanning. 